Hi. That was so perky. Allegra here, your relocation coach. It is a gorgeous spring day here in New York. It's probably, it is the prettiest day we've had this year, and I felt inspired to make a quick little note for you uh, with one of the tips that I have for maintaining connection with long distance friends. I have traveled a lot and I've moved a lot and have had more teary farewells than I like to remember, but it has been a concession I've had to make to explore different parts of the world and be where I'm at now, which is in New York. And my friends are all over the place. Some of my best friends live very far away from me and my family also. And so I could either wallow in that misery of not being near them, which is sometimes okay to do. You know, it's a sad thing not being able to see everyone all the time. But um, the times when I don't want to be really sad about it, which is a majority of the time, I'd rather try and stay a bit positive, I have to resort to little creative ways of staying connected with people. And today I'm going to show you one of those ways. So over the weekend in the New York Times, this article came out. That's right. That's Louis C.K. And I love him. He's amazing. If you haven't seen his show, Louis on FX, I suggest you check it out. And I have a friend in Los Angeles, someone who I think is totally awesome, who is also a huge fan. So what I did was I ripped this out of the newspaper, which took about 0.2 seconds. I'm going to fold it up. Super fancy. I'm going to take this little post-it note that I've got right here, and I'm going to write a note on it, and it's going to say, from one fan to another. Love, Allegra. Boom. That took me about 30 seconds. Sorry if it was a little bit long on your end. I'm going to tape it to the front. I'm going to pop it in this envelope. Got to make one more fold. Getting super fancy and high tech. Let me tell you, there is nothing like mail. I mean real mail, postal mail, mailbox mail. Think about how happy we all are when we get little letters addressed to us from friends or packages in the mail. I love that stuff. I try to send mail to the people I work with. I try to drop notes like this in my post box at least once a week if I can because it makes me feel good and it makes me feel that connection that I'm trying to feel, right? So I'm going to address this. I'm not telling you who it's to because maybe they'll watch this and someone out there is going to be like, am I the one getting the article from Allegra? Ooh, so excited. All right. So I'm going to pop this in the mail. I'm going to put a stamp on it. And what just transpired there took me total about a minute and a half, maybe a minute 36. And I feel really excited. I feel connected to my friend, whether or not they ever tell me they got it. There's something about just making those little gestures that um, that's really awesome. And even though I can't see them, I can do these tiny little things, which feel good for me. And I suggest you do the same. It's as simple as even having like a little note box full of note cards on your counter. This cost about $3 on clearance at Target. A little roll of stamps and... You know, the next time you're making chocolate chip cookies and you think about your best friend who also loves chocolate chip cookies, write a little note. Say, thinking about you while I'm making my chocolate chip cookies. And pop it in the mail. It's a quick, fun, creative, neat way to make your friends smile, which is what we want, right? So I hope this helps. Let me know what you think. I'd love to know what creative ways that you keep connected with your friends that you're far away from. And I'll see you soon. Bye.